Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Netta. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that's in my current makeup rotation, the products that I have um, pulled out for use from, well, actually I rotated my makeup on September 15th. So from September 15th until November 1st, because I rotate my makeup every month and a half. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything that's in my current everyday makeup rotation. And then also those of you who have been with me for a while, you know that I do a declutter of all my makeup every September. I just go through everything and see products that I'm not using or that's just been sitting that I just... Mm, I just don't use it <laughs> that much and so yeah that's what today's video is about so I'm going to show you everything that's in my current rotation and then I'm going to show you everything that I have decluttered mostly eyeshadow palettes and like face mostly it's eyeshadow palettes highlighters and just face palettes that I've gotten rid of so yeah let's go ahead and just get started so good to be sitting down here filming <laughs> i mean I, it's been what like two maybe almost three weeks by the time this video goes up since i filmed the last video and it just feels so good to be sitting down in front of the camera just hanging out with you guys talking about makeup you know it's been so busy life has gotten so hectic for me uh over the last three weeks and i'm going to tell you guys all about that not in this video in another video we'll talk about you know where i've been what's been up what's been going on but yes guys it just feels so good to be filming and uploading again like this is my thing i love creating content and so um I hope no one thought that I had fell off because I did it, okay? Netta did not fall off. I didn't quit YouTube. <laughs> um, you'll notice that when I start like uploading less or posting on Instagram less, it just means that my life has gotten hectic. I'm a single mom of three kids. I'm a business owner. You know, I got a lot going on. On top of that, I have a full-time job as a licensed insurance agent. So if you see me kind of disappear for a little bit, just know that I'm handling business. I'm checking off goals, okay? And just really, my life has probably gotten really hectic with everything I have going on, but I have not gone anywhere. If I was to quit, uh, like YouTube, you'd know it, which I never will. I'll never quit YouTube. I'm going to be a 75-year-old YouTuber, <laughs> whatever that looks like. Um, but yeah, I'll never quit YouTube. And if I were to quit YouTube, I'd probably make a video letting you know, hey, this is my last video. But that is not the case. So, anywho, so as far as products in my current everyday makeup rotation, I'll do like... I normally do um, if you haven't seen these videos before I start with skincare and I kind of go in order of how I do my makeup so skincare and then makeup products and things that I just have out that I'm using on a daily basis so first up I'll go into cleansers so I have two cleansers in my everyday makeup rotation right now Anyone who knows, you know, I really love First Aid Beauty as a brand. So I have these two cleansers out right now. This is the Pure Skin Facial Cleanser with Antibiotic Antioxidant Booster. Remove surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime safe for sensitive skin. And of course, it is fragrance free. I am heavy into the fragrance free black fragrance free products. If you like go back and watch some of my videos, I haven't always been that way. And to be honest, I do love like skincare products and makeup products that smell really nice. But because I, my skin is aging, I do take it very seriously. So I am now, um, all the skincare products that I own are fragrance free. So 
this one is one that i use just like in the morning just to wash my face like i tend to use i do use this morning and night um so i tend to use this morning and night um just to wash my face i do double cleanse though so i use this to wash my face and then i use this one this is the skin rescue also from first aid beauty uh, deep cleanser with red clay remove excess oils on clog pores and purify safer sensitive skin i use this one when like on skincare like on my skincare sundays so like my self-care skincare days when i really want to deep cleanse i'll use this one so I'll use this one and then I'll follow it up with this one and then I'll use my Tatcha um, exfoliating uh, rice polish. But yeah, I have these two out. Um, this one I use day and night. This one I just use when I want to deep cleanse. Keeping it with cleansers, next up is this Milani Green Goddess Makeup Melter. I just reached black. I don't know why I can't tell. I'm not used to this. <laughs> It's been so long since I filmed the video. I can't even talk straight. OMG. But anyway, I purchased this from Ulta about two weeks ago. So this is a new purchase and I've been using it for about a week um, because I ran out of that Biosense um, oil cleanser. And so I like an oil cleanser or a balm to break down my makeup before I go in with my cleanser. So this is the Milani Green Goddess Makeup Melter Cleansing Balm. I just use this at the end of the day to take my makeup off. Um, and then I go in with the, you know, just my regular cleanser. I really like this. As you can see, I've been using it. <laughs> I've dug into it quite a bit. And I like it because it has like this minty smell. It just smells, it smells really nice. I don't like it as much as I like my Biosense, uh, as I said, oil cleanser, but a cleansing balm that I really love is the Clinique. What is it? The Clinique Take the Day Away Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. But this one is good too, especially for a drugstore uh, balm. And so, yeah, I got this one. And lip products go. I have this Too Faced peach lip scrub and i'm actually almost out of this one so as you can see like that's almost gone so i'm going to use this up and then once i am out of this one i purchased the same time i purchased that milani green goddess um makeup melter i also picked up this lip scrub from bosom and this is how it looks and it's just like a balm that you use to scrub your lips and this one is in dragon fruit dragon fruit mm, and that oh that smells really nice <laughs> that smells really nice so these two products i have for lip scrubs right now and last but not least for skincare, I have this Hello Hello Fab, so the first A Beauty uh, coconut water cream. You guys have seen this here on my uh, channel before. I love this coconut water cream. Now, two of my favorites: the Biosense Gel Moist Squalene Gel Moisturizer. I just ran out of that one, and when I ran out of that one, I picked up this one from First A Beauty. Both are really amazing gel moisturizers. Um, and I really like gel moisturizers for warmer weather, so I wear them during uh, summer and the beginning of fall. And then when the weather gets cooler and colder, then I go in with the like heavier creams. But I have oily skin, so I just I really like this 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 coconut water cream. If you have oily skin, this this is this is the one you want. I, this is. we will go into setting sprays for setting sprays i purchased this this is the milani make it last this is the hydrating one this isn't the matte one this is the hydrating setting spray i it's a mini i purchased this like three 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 weeks ago no two weeks ago the same time i purchased the other products from Ulta, and i purchased this for a wedding so 
I'll give you a little snippet of life updates. I did a bride, I did her makeup, so I had a, a wedding to do. So I did bride and her two daughters makeup for a wedding and it was so beautiful. They looked so gorgeous. But I picked up this setting spray to put in my makeup kit for, you know, to set their makeup for that wedding. But I figure I'm not going to do or book any more clients for the next month because I just have so much going on right now. Probably not until the holidays. I probably won't have any more clients. So I just put it out of my makeup kit because it's really nice. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's really nice. And I wanted to use it for myself. So the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, also still in rotation is the Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. But as you can see, I'm almost out. I'm almost out of it. So when I run out of this, I'm not going to repurchase this just yet because I just picked up the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Setting Spray. And then I also picked up the Cover FX Setting Spray. So I wanted, I remember telling you guys like a while back, I wanted to try some new setting sprays and just some new products in general. So I purchased those two. Um, so when I run out of this, I won't be picking this up again just for a little while. But um, I really do like this. And I'm almost out. And then also from Elf, you guys. This, this right here from Elf, this is the hydrating coconut mist. It hydrates skin and refreshes makeup with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Guys, this is so good. I have been using this. Um, for the past two weeks as well, I also, I didn't go on the haul, I promise you guys, <laughs> the way I'm talking, it makes it seem, seem like I went on a makeup haul, but I did it, I just noticed I was running low and needed, ooh, and needed some stuff, so I just was picking stuff up, and this is so good from e.l.f., I like to use this to, like, spritz my, 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 like, a last step in my skincare routine, just, you know, spray my face with it. I like it to just um, set my makeup, just to refresh throughout the day. This and the Olay, the Olay Essence Mist, like those two are my favorite, hands down setting spray. And Milani, <laughs> and Milani. So the Milani setting sprays, especially the mattifying setting spray. I like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I like the Beauty Bakery spray your grace okay look i got a few but this one this one is really good and it's in my current rotation i don't know what's up you guys but i have like a headache like a little bit of a headache going on situation so i'm just got some tea here i think it's because i'm hormonal right now i get a little bit of headaches it's not a migraine <clears throat> excuse me it's not a migraine I, it, it's bearable but i do have a little bit of headache so i've just got some tea here that i'm gonna be sipping throughout this video because and this is what is this this is a celestial what is this this is the celestial ginger and probiotics tea so i like to drink teas that have like ginger in it because ginger is good for your gut so yes, Celestial, Woo. I'm spilling it, what the hell? Moving on, let's get highlighters out of the way. For highlighters, I have a oldie but goodie, this Dior New Air Luminizer, and this is what it looks like, it's so pretty. I'll never part with this highlighter, ever. It's so nice, I'm going to keep this highlighter until I run out of it. It's such a nice highlighter. It's so beautiful. I love it all year round, whether it's winter, summer, spring, fall. It's just a beautiful highlighter. So this one is in my rotation. And then I also have the Fenty Beauty Shimmer Matte Stick in Yacht Life. I really like this. Um, I'll probably never run out of this. But I really like it. I love it for highlighting. I prefer this to like highlight underneath my foundation to do that glow from within look. And then also like a little bit of shimmer on the eyes when I do that. So this one, the Fancy Beauty. 
I have that out. I also have the Maybelline Master Chrome Jelly Highlighter. You guys will remember this from my last um, everyday makeup rotation video, which was three months ago. I was like, when the last, like when I was getting ready to film for this video, I was like, when the last time I did an everyday makeup rotation video? Three months ago, I was like, Ugh, we're overdue. <laughs> but yes, the Maybelline Master Chrome Jelly Highlighter. I am almost out of this. Actually, at the end of this rotation, I'll be out of this. And this I will repurchase. I said it before, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighters from the drugstore i like to use this for natural glam makeup looks which i'll do i'll i'll do a video for you guys on how i do natural glam makeup but i love to use this in natural glam makeup and just to highlight underneath the makeup because it just looks so pretty and you ooze goodness you just you radiate and you ooze positive energy when you wear this highlighter underneath your makeup if somebody if you got a hater trying to come for you if you got people in your dms if you got people trying to add drama to your life just put some of this on underneath your makeup and just block out all that negativity and let the light shine and just beep, block it all out okay <laughs> so yes this one is good okay so i guess we can move into blush so for blush i have three blushes um the milani cheek kiss liquid blush and berry smooch this has been in my rotation for a while i just really like it i like the deep plum blushes i really like this it's really nice and it's highly pigmented i just like it for a blush and i just really want to burn through this one and then I also have the Ciate London Marbled Lights blush, which I just love. And this one is in Halo. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. I absolutely love this blush. It's so muted and just, it's muted and it's toned down and it's, it's just pretty. It's soft, it's subtle. You can barely tell it's there, but it's there. It also gives a little bit of a highlighted glow. So yeah, I really, really like this blush. The Forever, you guys have seen this blush before. This is just a nice orange blush. I feel like an orange blush for the fall, right? So for the fall, um, I love orange blushes going from summer into fall. I think you can't go wrong with it. I just, I love this one and it's a powdered blush and I really like it. Um, Okay, moving into bronzers. For a bronzer face palette, I pulled out this one from Ace Beauty. Um, this is the Bronzed and Paradise face palette. And this is what the palette looks like. So this one is my in my rotation right now. So I like to use this one to bronze. I like to use this one when I really want a deep, like really, really warm bronze. That's what I'm wearing for bronzer now. Um, I like this one to highlight, like these two to highlight the cheekbones. Like it's just a really good face palette for bronzing and highlighting. So this one is in my other bronzer I took out is the Morphe uh, Brontor bronzer. This one is in Showman's, and I'll show you guys what it looks like here. So this is what it looks like, and it has a really nice mirror here. And so I use this shade to bronze as well, and then I use this as highlight too. So I have a lot of, you know, options right now for highlighting and bronzing. But not least, the eyeshadows. So I pulled this one out. This is the Beauty Creations Kala Cheek Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. So as you can see, like, I feel like this is just a beautiful, wonderful eyeshadow palette for fall. It has those beautiful, rustic, warm tones. You got your oranges and your browns, your gold, metallics. Like it's just, it's just really beautiful, really, really pretty eyeshadow palette for those fall makeup looks. I really, really like this palette. I've been using it and I've really been enjoying this palette. So yes. And uh, 
the Colored Rain Power Palette. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. You guys know this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadow palettes. It's such a beautiful palette. I pulled this palette out for when I want to make more creative looks. So let me show you guys this palette. You might have seen it already, but it's just stunning right isn't it so pretty i mean and when i say pigment pigment okay so i mean it's just a really beautiful berry toned purpley eyeshadow palette i love it um, i love color rain products i will never ever ever get rid of any of my colored rain products i mean it's just i mean just look at that can you see that? Like, just look at that. Like, look at the pigments, honey. Like, on these eyeshadows and these glitters. Look at that. And then I'll swatch one of the mattes. You guys have probably seen this already, but girl. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, I love this palette. I my Color Rain palettes, my Juvia's Place palettes, my Beauty Bakeries palettes and makeup my abh palettes <laughs> like like these are palettes that i will never ever ever get rid of like just just palettes just you need this palette you need this palette sis and i just feel like purples look so great on brown skin so yeah Whew, this is heavy okay and so this is everything in here that's sitting on top of my vanity there so it has my foundations my primers lip products concealers mascara lip glosses lip pencils lipsticks like everything that i am using on a daily basis for the month sits in this thing right here so i have currently the revlon so the revlon combination oily foundation i'm wearing that today this is in my rotation. It's gonna be there till I use it up. And the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. This is in the shade 390. It'll be here till I use it up. Uh, oh, the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. I love this foundation, especially going into fall. This is such a beautiful foundation. I'm in the shade Mahogany, so that's in rotation right now. What else? What else? What else? Oh, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just keep this, guys. I like to mix this with the foundations. I like to wear it as highlighter. I use it as primer. I wear it by itself. You know, like I'm still surprised I have so much of this left but yeah i love this stuff right here uh for primers i have the revlon prime plus mattify and pore reducing makeup and skincare primer i'm actually almost out of this really glad i used this today um just want to burn it up and then also the oh gosh i need to wash my hands because i'm making a mess but the milani prime perfection hydrating face primer I'm almost out of this one too. And so since I'm almost out of those two, I pulled out the NYX uh, Pore Filler Primer. And I also pulled out the Benefit, the Pore Freshenal Pore Primer. So those are all the primers in my rotation right now for concealers um it's the nyx born to glow concealer in golden and the elf uh hydrating concealer in the olive and this is a new purchase this is a new purchase so i picked this up two weeks ago too when i purchased the other products that i showed that elf and the milani cleansing balm i picked this one up too and this is the juvia's place i am magic concealer in number four and I use this to contour and I use it today to scope out my cheeks. And whew, this thing is heavy. <laughs> okay, what else I got in here? I got some lipsticks from Dior that I'm trying to use. I got my lip pencils in here. Um, so like I've got the 
ColourPop BFF3, brown lip liner, my Hourglass eyebrow pencil. I've got some glosses. So this is the Too Faced, um, which one is this called? Pretty Rich High Shine Lip Gloss. I've got um, this lip gloss that I got off Amazon that my daughter convinced me to buy. Um, this one is new. Um, as you, I did a product empties video. I had ran out of the other Milani lip gloss, but this is Milani Ludicrous lip gloss in semi charmed, and I picked this up recently. And what else I got in here? Um, this one from Milani too. Anything else? I mean, that's pretty much it. I've got this lip gloss here from Too Faced. This is their holiday edition from like two years ago, I think, in eggnog. So, yeah. So, these are products that I'm just trying to burn through and run through. Hopefully, by the end of the year, so I can clear this stuff out and then have space for new stuff to fill it with. So happy. But, yeah. And this is just on top of my vanity. And I just sit there and do my makeup. And, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so products that I am decluttering and these products are currently on sale on my Poshmark. So I'll leave the link for my Poshmark down in the description if you want to purchase any of these items, you know, support me on Poshmark. But if not, then they got to go either way. <laughs> um, so they are for sale on my Poshmark and then two products aren't here, but those Morphe the more I had two Morphe Glam of Bronze um, bronzers that just did not work for my complexion. And at first I was thinking I would keep them as like setting powders just have my makeup. But then I was like, well, I need to declutter. I need to get rid of stuff. And I don't really want to use a bronzer to set my makeup. I'd rather honestly just use a pressed powder. So when I run out of my powders, then I, I'm going to pick up some pressed powders and some new powders. Well, not really any new powders. I still have a drawer full of powders, but <laughs> I definitely want to pick up some pressed powders. So these products are on my Poshmark. They're for sale on my Poshmark if you want them. They'll be for sale until about December. Uh, reason being is because once Dece December gets here and we're going into the end of the year, I'll probably, whatever hasn't sold, I'll probably just donate to a women's shelter or to my sister um, or a family member because I want them gone out of my house by the end of the year so that I can feel good about buying new stuff. So first thing that I'm decluttering is this Makeup Revolution Quad at Night Highlighter Palette. Guys, do you guys remember this? Like, if you've been following me or, you know, like watching my videos since the beginning, I purchased this so long ago and it's still in really good shape. You know, it's not too used. I mean, this one here has a dent in it, but that's only because like one of my nails accidentally scratched it. But other than that, it's in really good shape. I'm just ready to purge it. I, I don't find myself excuse me, I don't find myself reaching for this as often as I used to. It's, it's been sitting there and I was like, I was looking at it and I was like, well, maybe I'll keep it because it really is a good highlighter palette. And I kept it to see if I would use it, but I don't, I just, I just don't. So <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and let go, not be a hoarder, okay, <laughs> of makeup. So maybe someone else can get some really good use out of it. But it really is a nice highlighter palette. I just, I just don't reach for it anymore. Up is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatts. Uh, which one is this? Foil. Yeah, so this one is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. You guys, this palette, I remember when it first came out, I loved this palette. Like... It's so pretty, especially for like the glass skin trend that was going on. I don't know if we're still doing glass skin, but it's really, really nice for that glass skin look. 
and the shades are so nice i just don't i just don't grab for it anymore i mean they're very pigmented i really love like popping this one in my inner corner and blue is my favorite color so i love putting this one on the lid and blending this one into the eyes but i just oh i really like that i would use this one as blush but i just you know i just don't reach for it that much anymore so it's gotta go it's gotta go i'm not gonna lie some of this was hard it was really hard to be close okay now moving into the eyeshadows there's three that i'm getting rid of <laughs> the Too Faced. i can't believe i'm saying this but this Too Faced then and now eyeshadow palette i just i just don't use it and it has all the original packaging as you can see i mean it's not a bad eyeshadow palette i just don't i just don't reach for it it's kind of like it's a collector's so it just sits there but it's a really well crafted palette it's huge i mean you get this humongo mirror here uh this is what the actual palette looks like it's so pretty and as you can see like i barely use this palette and it's a good palette and it smells like birthday cake i just is it sitting there is it sitting there taking up space as you can see it's kind of long and i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes so it's just taking up space there's nothing wrong with it it's a beautiful palette i just feel like even though a palette may be a collector's for me i still want it to be something that i actually use i don't know i just i don't know i don't know see now now i'm like i don't know i don't know if i want to get rid of it now and then the shade names glitter donut lost boys gretchen reality star i can't even shady bit chill out ooh la la i mean like it's, it's a good palette but honestly it's just sitting there it's just collecting dust and if you are a makeup enthusiast or you think someone would like this who's a makeup enthusiast maybe you didn't get it you know it is limited you can't really find it anywhere right now yeah you can't really buy it anywhere now because it was a limited edition for their 20th anniversary of Too Faced here here take it you can have it because I don't use it eyeshadow palette is the crown pro eyeshadow palette this is brand new never swatched never touched it it came in my boxy charm box for july i think and it's a really nice palette the only issue the only reason why i'm decluttering this one that's the plastic insert the only reason why i'm decluttering this one is because as you can see it is a warm rich tone nude everyday palette and i have like three of these already <laughs> across my makeup and beauty collection i have like three of them and i don't need another one of the same thing i literally have like three of the same thing so i'm like i'm gonna get rid of it but yeah it's a really pretty palette it's just that i have these same shades over and over and over again in my makeup collection so there's no sense in keeping it <sighs> the fenty beauty moroccan spice eyeshadow palette you guys i really tried with this one i really really tried to keep this one in my collection but honestly i don't use it i just don't i just don't it's just here and it's been yeah, i mean you guys have seen me use this palette so all the palettes i do sanitize and clean them up really nicely uh before i ship them out but i mean i just i don't know i just i just don't use it i just don't use it it's the truth it's a nice palette it's a decent palette but i mean i i just don't use it that's the truth <laughs> so this one is going last but not least these two fenty beauty max six that i don't use anymore they're in the shades uh chili mango and redick 
and I just don't use them anymore, you know? Like, they've been sitting, and they're really great for blush, right? But I just don't reach for them. And I feel like I have my blushes now that I really like, and that's probably another reason why I don't reach for them. So rather than having them just sitting here and collecting dust, maybe somebody else will appreciate them. So yeah these two. for all the eyeshadow palettes that i am decluttering feel free to head over to my poshmark support your girl and purchase any of these palettes i also have a huge bundle where you can get all of these palettes all of this makeup so if you want that i'll leave a link for my poshmark down in the description box so now let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway <laughs> giveaways are on they're never gonna leave you know, so everything is good as far as the giveaways go. It is another $75 giveaway, cash giveaway for the month of September. So I will leave my cash app down in the description box as well. I'll also have my cash app um, in my stories on Instagram. Um, and I'll also do PayPal too, because I feel like maybe some people don't have cash app. Maybe some of you guys have PayPal, but... I'll do PayPal too. I'll leave my PayPal, but everything really is makeup by Netta, okay? So I'll leave all of that down in the description box. It's a $75 cash giveaway for the month of September. Give back to you guys as much as I can. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. The link, the giveaway will close at, as always, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, because I'm in Colorado, so 1 p.m. Mountain Time on Saturday. And you'll know that you won the giveaway because you'll be $75 richer, okay? All right, guys. Well, I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do you have any of these products that you saw here in your makeup rotation? Do you rotate your makeup? Do you, do you use Poshmark? If so, if you are also a fellow Poshmarker, um, then let me know because I would love to support your closet as well. So I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in the 